Hello, it's Sarah. I just wanted to come back and show you my finished Dragon's Eye. I did a, on the previous video, I shared how I covered one of these cradle boxes that I got on clearance um, with clay. And I just used, this time I used Bacon Bond to adhere it and then um, bake it and it's, and it's fine. It's covered. And I have been continuing on in my Dragon's Eye <laughs> creating. Uh, and this time now I've decided to bring in other colors of clay. The first classes I took were, th this is all inspired by Chris Capono. She's a, a polymer clay artist. And luckily I was able to get in on the, the Dragon's Eye class, which I think is now not available at the moment, um, unless it's in her Etsy store or something. Um, it was on claylessons.com, which shut down. Uh, then I took her class when she did Polymer Clay Adventure last year, which I didn't take this year. Um, but she did this uh, mirror tile and using a lot of these techniques that we learned doing that class, I now am incorporating that into the Dragon's Eye pieces. And so I did this one previously. Um, and I think I used three different colors of clay. And then this was the one that I, like I said, I showed you guys how I um, covered the box, but then I went ahead and finished it. And then this morning I have the house to myself. I uh, patinaed, which is when you add paint. And I, for this I used, uh, you, you can use black, I mean basic black paint, but I used Payne's Gray. And that gets in all the nooks and crannies of all the detail. Um, now, th the other thing I really loved about this technique was um, previously, or with the, the Dragon's Eye class, she just did a, a dragony, uh, which this is actually fish scales. That's the name of the texture sheet. Um, and that is great for a background. But this time, I just used random stamps and I used a couple of these are actually for polymer clay but I wanted this script in there and then there was a piece of this one that had like X's and O's and I just liked that so I just put the X's and O's on there but I mean there's roses here and flowers and I just for some reason like the X's and O's and I don't even know if you can see them and oh yeah there's total X and O's right there the script and then all these circles are just little marks that I make with my etch and pearl tools, which is a, it's a little tool that I got again from Sydney Holt had taught a class and she used these, I think it's a set of three that you can get. And they have this little round cutting, cutting end that you can make circles, pearl-like shapes, you know. Um, I have in, th in three sizes, so I just go around the piece and make little circles with it and dots and just make different indentions all over the place. So it's more mixed media feeling, this one. It has more artsy, more uh, a more artsy look. And that's actually what Chris did um, in the class from Polymer Clay Adventure. And then after it's all baked and you've, you've decorated it and then you bake it, you can come back in and add, oh, and I add bling. I added my bling. See on the sides there, just like the other one. Oh, and actually this is the top. Uh, I, you come back after and you add anything you want to that can add um, a little bit more, um, it is texture, but the glossy accents makes it shine. So I put that on some of the areas, all these like uh, flourishy looking pieces and just hit and miss here and there in the little corners of the eyes. And then Tisha Gonzalez is one of my subscribers had posted her dragon's eye that she made after I did my tutorial and she had put stickles on the eyelids. So I added stickles to this one too, just to see what it would look like. I use glitter clay so it's already glittery. In the background you can totally see that there's like sparkle. What else? Um, <clears throat> Rub and Buff which you know there's also DecoArt is now making um, the metallic rubs. Um, there's lots of things out there that you can use that rub on and give a metallic shine. 
what else uh, pretty much whatever you want so it, it just comes out it's it's putting all these different mediums together and I just love it I love this one I decided to do this one on the diagonal so I have one more to do and I think I'm gonna do that one on the the square again you know have it and then uh, I think I'm gonna do it in reds so I'll show you what else I did now uh, Gail Thompson is uh, I'll put I can put her link in the description box she's a Claire who's been creating for years and after finding my YouTube channel she decided to start making videos and I'm so glad you did hi Gail um, she does canes and polymer clay blending and those are things that I really am very inexperienced with I'm um, I don't know I like um, I can't really describe my taste when it comes I think Lori Micah's style really appealed to me that's what got me interested in polymer clay and that's the mixed media mosaic so she's embedding things in the clay you know when I do my um, my little polymer clay tiles so it it includes my jewel my love for jewelry and bling and clay and and mosaics because I did glass mosaics anyway um, so clay there's just so much more to clay than I ever ever probably will ever find out but um, Gail is now making videos and so I tried my first cane this is the um, the little dragon's eye tin that I made with the cane but you can't really tell um, this is the cane and she calls it and it's called a retro cane and Gail I think it's called a retro cane because of the circles like retro I'm thinking mod 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 style the circles are what I think the retro is is in relation to but I did mine in pink and yellow she does it in black and white and I probably should have done it first in black and white and I used an extruder my new extruder um, and it went fairly well she uses a lot now this was the first one I did this is pretty much a fail I would say because the colors were too closely there's not enough um, differentiation <laughs> in the colors then also when I put my my little extruded um, snakes together I didn't make sure they were adhered so there's air inside there so let me come and cut this in half um, I put all my stuff away but basically I learned a lot and uh, it was fun but you have to do it a certain way like you have to see look so when you cut it and that so you can see that was just a piece that I extruded but I didn't connect it very well like it's just loose in there um, so what I ended up doing was uh, smushing this together and using it for um, the 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 eye itself when I put the eye on here I just used blended clay because it was similar in color but this is and you can't really even see it maybe this is this this isn't the one yes it is this is the one I made a veneer with this cane which I put through the pasta machine and I don't think you're supposed to do that either so I'm still such a beginner um, but what it did was it just influenced the colors of this and I did use yellow orange and red which they're so close that you can't really see too much of a difference but I like it I think it turned out uh, as well as I had hoped you know I definitely put my bling and I definitely put um, glossy accents all the all the added I put a little bit of gold on here I think and it's super cute so let's see this is using like this is the one I used I did previously this is one color of clay and this is like three colors of clay and I think you can tell I think you can see the differences uh, also Gail uh, no no not Gail Lisa it's Lisa Wade had mentioned that I think this this eye reminded her of a like a not a Greek one what is it called the eye of Horus which is an Egyptian eye 
and I googled it and you're right Lisa like I think it was actually my purple one this one and it had to do with this line that goes across <clears throat> let me see if I can I pulled it up on Google and look this is what the eye looks like this is an Egyptian eye so those of you who you know you're not that you don't find dragons that cool or anything make any kind of eye you want you know look at that that is beautiful and it you know just play off that like this one what is that that is super cool right so I think you guys you guys inspire me but that's the basic design for the eye of Horus and I think that's what Lisa was saying about this one that just had the um, the line across the top but you can't really see that well anyway um, I'm gonna like I said I'm gonna do the one one more of these with the uh, the cradle box is it called the cradle board to finish my set of three let me go back up um, I just feel like I'm on a roll right now I have everything out for this and I'm kind of I'm tweaking it each time see I put a different kind of pupil in this one too I don't know if I'm crazy about that pupil but I'm gonna you know I think I'll probably just use I have one out here already I think I'm just gonna use this one it's a basic like cat's eye I guess it's called the cat's eye pupil I'll probably use that um, and continue on like I said I think I'm gonna do it in reds but thank you Chris Capono for the inspiration I just love all that detail on there it's just crazy I'll give you a little bit of a closer look I put a little butterfly um, jewelry part in there and these are just texture lines that you can make with your blade I made a leaf on this one which I hadn't put on the other one and the bling and the eyelid these are jewelry pieces this was the technique that she taught in the class at polymer clay adventure that's just one of those gems too but it's blue and that's a green one so I put a couple different color ones on this one. So I'm just changing it up. Like I think, no, I did it on this one. I used the yellow. I got away from just using the jewelry pieces and um, decided to put just some of the smaller gems on there. But I really love the, um, the mixed media background. Instead of just going with a classic dragon scale looking or dragon skin, you know. I like that I think it's different you know and you can put whatever you want your personality all right you guys so I'm gonna continue on with these and thank you so much for watching <laughs>